The time is ticking away until we reach season 2 here in Fortnite and you won't be disappointed. Okay. Season 2 has a history of being the best season in each chapter, that's why everyone is so excited. Season 1 seems to have lasted forever with minimum updates. My disappointment is immeasurable. Due to Epic's winter break. But finally, we are just over a week away from leaving season 1 behind. It's about damn time. And today, we will take a look at all the fresh new news that we have received regarding season 2. You don't want to miss this. Because it's iconic. Guys, here on the channel, we aim to bring you daily Fortnite content for all the latest news, leaks, information, free skins, free V-Bucks, everything you could ever want from a Fortnite channel. You'll find that right here on Forever Fortnite. Nice. We also like to gift our subscribers every single day. If you don't want to receive a gift, which I know some of you guys don't, you can go ahead and skip to the time on screen right now, which will take you to all the juicy information we've got for you guys today. But if you do want to receive a gift, all you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your Epic ID down below, and make sure to go ahead and add me on Epic also. Guys, if you do have Twitter or X, please go ahead and drop me a follow over there. It'd be greatly appreciated, and I can keep you up to date on everything that is happening with the channel. One rule with this guys if you do get accepted to receive the gift please do not spam me with invites i'm just a normal guy and i like to play the game sometimes and getting invites through constantly is a little bit distracting so if you are doing this i will have to remove you which obviously means you can't receive a gift congratulations you played yourself with that being said, let's get into all this juicy information we've got for you guys today. Obviously guys, we are now at the end of Season 1, and here is what to expect in the last two weeks of Season 1. The Season 2 event prelude, Mosaic Snapshot Quest, which we're going to take a look at in a bit, Odyssey Mosaic Build-Up, IRL Teasers from Lachlan. If you don't know, Lachlan is set to receive a package from Epic. He may have already received this, but he hasn't posted anything about it yet at the time of recording this, so if he has by the time it's gone up, I do apologise. Once it has gone up, we will make a video about that. Also, Season 2 teasers, most likely around the 3rd and 4th of March, which is very, very close now. These are going to be official teasers from Fortnite themselves rather than just leaked files. Guys, let me know down below if you are hyped for Season 2. And in case you missed it, new quests related to Season 2 will be going up later this season named Odyssey and Mosaic Quests. It will grant you many rewards, including XP, level up tokens, and a few loading screens. Guys, if you don't know, obviously, this brown loading screen, what we see right here, is going to be the base loading screen and we're going to be gathering to do these quests and in the background of this video right now you can see the quests that we're going to be getting it's just like they're not in order but it's just going to play through the different quests that we're going to be having to actually unlock the full version of this mosaic now obviously this is going to be very colorful it's going to be a very nice loading screen and in the actual background of this we have the three headed creature which is referenced to cerberus which we know cerberus is definitely going to be part of season two's battle pass so i'm highly looking forward to that and i think it's going to be an absolutely insane skin once we get it inside of the game so like i said guys Guys, that was all the quests in the background just there if you want to go back and pause at any point feel free to do that but we're gonna to have to complete a lot of quests to unlock this full loading screen whatever you want to call it but i know it's gonna be absolutely insane once we get there and once again guys in case you missed it the raging reaper has tweeted this this is our prediction for who may be on pandora's box from yesterday's inner circle podcast episode cerberus seems to be on the far right which would make sense since he's in the mosaic potentially this box could unleash evil villains that last the rest of chapter five now judging by the picture on the front of this box they've been able to bring out free skins from the survey skins that could be actually hidden inside the box. Now, Pandora's box is expected to obviously open on the island. We know we're going to get the community event in order to get it down off its chains. And once it lands, it's going to unleash evil on the island in the form of what we're expecting to be a mini event. So could these skins come out of Pandora's box? And could we end up in a full good versus evil Greek mythology battle for season two? Guys, it's going to be insane. You're not going to want to miss a single part of it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to keep you up to date with everything that you need to know. Obviously, going over into a new month though now the new month means a new season but it also means a new crew pack and the march crew pack has been announced we can also take a look right here at all the crew pads cosmetics which are just absolutely crazy obviously with the crew the longer you are part of it the more you unlock further down the line like i believe it's each month you unlock a different style which is absolutely insane so you've got your six styles there as i think it's six months your six back blings and your six pickaxes the crew is definitely a great thing to do i believe you get v bucks along with it as well i'm still not a part of it i probably should do but it's just something I don't do. I tend to just use the one skin. Obviously, I used John Cena for ages, and now I'm using the Buccaneers skin, part of the NFL package. But I know, guys, I know a lot of you guys are part of the crew. Um, so, yeah. But before we do get any further into today's video, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for all the support here on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I can't thank you guys enough. Whoever you are, thank you. 
everyone liking sharing commenting subscribing i see it all guys and it's been absolutely insane like i said always it's just a hobby outside of work i can't thank you guys enough for all the support here on the channel anyone sharing is doing me a huge huge favor with this the channel is growing very nicely and i can't wait to give back to you guys even more with all that being said let's get back to all this juicy news we've got for you today now before we do go into some more season two stuff we have this here from hypex fortnite are working on a big lego slash uefn update called atom it'll bring new lego sets collabs like action figures duplo technic click ticks scala tulu snap primo quattro city set ccbs and more you'll be able to build your own custom lego world from existing lego pieces and sets or custom imported ones the default pieces you'll be given at first a different variants of knobs pins and tubes he then goes on to say your lego skins will be usable in this you'll be able to monetize these maps according to the disclaim spotted by sheena in order to publish a lego island you're required to review the terms and conditions and understand the revenue rules now guys lego fortnite is going absolutely insane we already know that fortnite is now a hub with all these games off for it and lego fortnite seems to just be going absolutely crazy we've obviously got the festival mode as well which has got quite a few updates obviously we've got the new festival pass there with lady gaga but the lego mode just seems to be going insane and just getting absolutely crazy i really need to start playing it because i'll be honest i've still not even played it but guys let's get back to season two news starting off with this also from hypex next season has the potential to beat chapter two season four for the best mythics if fortnite goes with greek gods abilities as mythics there's many options they can go with now guys let me know down below some mythic ideas that you've got for this next season there's some absolutely insane ones obviously you've got zeus as one of them which we already know there's like a lightning bolt added into the game some kind of effect and i'm thinking it would be pretty cool if we can get like the mythic abilities with zeus obviously with the lightning bolt it would be absolutely the same we've got the teenage mutant ninja tail stuff at the moment they've got the dash and the attack stuff whereas if the dash was like the lightning bolt and obviously the attack was something different there's so many different options there's so many greek gods that have different abilities it's going to be absolutely insane to what we could see and like i said let me know some of the ideas that you've got down in the comments below also fortnite again updated the floor is lava game mode a few days ago in case you forgot the ltm is set to return soon with this name midas presents floor is lava now guys we already know midas is coming back we saw this controller also get released and the picture on this controller is a version of midas we have not seen before which also hints that we are getting a completely different version of midas inside the game which we have never seen before which would also be massively massively cool we're also expected obviously to get this ltm back floor is lava was such a cool ltm if you can't remember what it is basically the lava rises up from the ground and it gets to a point where you've got to get the highest ground to win obviously you can eliminate your opponents but at the same time you need to be on high ground to avoid this lava because as soon as you hit this lava that is it you are eliminated and you need to avoid this so as you can see in the background there's tilted towers area for the image it's just an insane game mode it was so much fun all the limited time game modes used to be so much more fun than what they were now i think last time i played 50 v 50 on fortnite there was not even 20 people on each team it used to be so much fun with the limited time modes and i really hope they do bring them back and obviously we also know fortnite og is making a return at some point this year but guys that has been it for today's video if you are new around here please do subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace